Hi Pisces, welcome to Kiwis and Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This is your love reading for July, Pisces, okay? Um, and it's going to just, um, I'm going to draw three cards that are going to relate uh, to you, uh, to your energies, and I'm going to pull another three cards that are going to relate to the energy of the person around you or the people coming towards you, and then we'll pull some clarifiers, obviously, and some outcome cards as well, okay? Um, I've already shuffled, obviously, but I'll just do that. Um, I always do that again. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell that's below um, because I am going to be putting up your bi-weekly um, general reading to Pisces for the next two weeks. I'm going to be, going to be putting that up in within the next seven days. I'm also going to be putting up your additional love readings pi love readings pisces in about two weeks in about the middle of the month um because a lot of people have asked for additional love readings as well okay so um i think you're going to be okay <laughs> i hope you are i feel like uh when i was when i was preparing for the reading that the energy for you guys is good wow so let's get started they're really actually um energetic these cards We've got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the World card. This has been out so many times this, today. And we've got the Empress. These are the energies of the situation coming towards you, okay? I feel like I've wanted to pull a card um, that come, you know, sort of end of June card, really. Or beginning of the month. Cause... Excuse me. Give me a second. That was, that's way too many. That's like half a deck so i'll not i'll put all those back in um yeah i feel like i need to put one more card for you actually um uh, maybe that's the university's way of telling me no it's not for you okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna crack on because apparently i'm not meant to pull a card the universe universe does want me to okay so um let's look at this card first of all seven of pentacles oh this card always makes me feel really sad oh by the way it's four 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 so let's hope that that's a good that's something good for you guys i don't know um okay uh 444 is such a good number oh my god anyway um you know it's, it makes me really sad this card seven of pentacles you know it's all about futility it's all about we've worked hard we've put energy in we've put effort in and we've really got nothing to show for it the thing is with the thing is though the universe never ever ever um ignores this amount of work if you're putting in work and you're and, and the things are, are futile the learning that you're that you're gaining from doing it is going to be something that stands you in good stead okay the beautiful thing is though this energy is coming to an end it could have been in a relationship you were in it wasn't working out you know you're with the wrong person or you weren't happy um they weren't putting in any effort you weren't putting in any effort and you just want a new start and you walk away from it and you, and you just want to get away from that um or it's about shifting your perspective. You know, with the world card, we re we definitely know that the seven of pentacles energy is over, okay? We know with the world card that it's a brand new beginning, a brand new perspective, and it's going into the next phase and the next stage of our life or the next cycle in our lives, having learned lessons from the seven of pentacles and everything that came along with that, okay? So with the world card, it means you it's been you've been it's been a struggle you know before this it's been a struggle obviously but we're coming into into july now it's the 5th of july today actually we're coming into july now and this is about you recognizing and realizing that the energy has shifted you know we have got a, quite a few retrogrades going on at the moment i think it's four um and you know that is sort of churning retrogrades i.e when the planets are going backwards it has a way of churning up the old stuff the stuff in the mur mur making the water murky making our emotions murky um but with the world card we know that so we've been in a struggle um before july and in july we can expect a change we can expect a new perspective we can expect um you can expect to feel more hopeful you can expect to to feel stronger because you've learned lessons yeah, you've already learned lessons and you've suffered to learn those lessons. But we have a new start with the uh, the world card. And then next we have the emperor. So some of you could be feeling this way um, in, in July. 
um some of you could be i've got two scenarios some of you could be feeling this way some of you could be feeling like um you know i'm feeling good about yourself confident feeling balanced feeling as though the world is your your oyster and as though you can create and manifest in this world this there's another absolutely beautiful message and this is going to be applied to some people um there could have been there could be you could be in a couple you and your partner you and your husband and you have been really trying for a long time to have to get pregnant you know really really trying to to have a child um really trying to to build your family whether or not it's a natural uh, as in you know sperm meets the egg man meets woman or whether it's you know going through adoption the adoption process or um trying to foster children for example you know before this point it's been a real slog it's been really heavy for you and been really difficult you you and your partner have felt like you've put a lot of work into trying to bring a child into your home as i said in in whatever way you that works for you and it, it's really a beautiful it's so nice because it's really looking like for some of you this month in july you will get that wish you will get that child you will get that um that present in your life now you know the empress is about fertility so you know that's why i said obviously women get pregnant obviously <laughs> but it you know but it could be you know with this work we're putting in it could be that there was fertility issues or it could be because the amount of work put in it could have been as i said adoption or um or surrogacy or you know a, 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 an alternative way of becoming a, a mother or a father you know um, so if you've been working hard toward that, that's definitely something that could happen for you, for you both, for you in your, in your relationship this, this, um, this month. If you are not in a relationship and you're not trying for a child and you've not been in any relationship at all, um, this is the work that you've been doing on yourself. You know, you have felt like you've been a single person, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being single. Singles, singles great to be. It's great to be single at because you, you can really go through, you can really dig deep and, and go through um the learning of okay, who am I? What it is, what is it that I want um truly? You know, because that time alone can lead to enlightenment. And it might you might have gone on a lot of dates. Some of you, you might have been, you know, asked out a lot of times, you might have gone on a lot of dates and felt like, oh my god, I'm not meeting anyone that I'm really clicking with that I really like that's something that can change this um this month and don't forget as well that you have learnt lessons through going on all these dates or through being single you've learnt lessons you know that's what we get when we get the seven of pentacles then the new world then then the, the world and then the empress it means that we've grown in wisdom that's what it means we've grown in our wisdom because of our suffering we've grown in our wisdom because of our efforts and that is when the universe rewards us that is when we are transmuting energy and that is when we start seeing a shift in the situations that we are in okay so that's really positive Pisces actually um this is my first uh, well, well we'll look at these cards okay this is the person or the people excuse me the person or the situations um that are going to be around you in july I, I've written it here because I, I always forget what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> I forget what I'm doing with my life, Pisces. I forget what I'm doing with my life. Right, okay, so. um, Okay, so we've got. I want to come to this card first. Um, and it's the page of, it's, excuse me, Knights of Pentacles, okay? So think about what knights do traditionally. You know, knights are um, warriors. They are brave. And they move toward the battle. They move toward battle because they want to win and they want to defend and they want to um, protect okay that's what knights do with the knight of pentacles you know that word protection is so much so much more important here it's a case of i call this card no stone left unturned because we he doesn't miss a trick the knight of pentacles because he's such a slow moving energy and um, he's related directly to Taurus actually as is the Hierophant directly to Taurus so some of you Pisces could be dealing with the Taurus it could also be any earth sign obviously to, uh, Virgo or a Capricorn but it's just that these cards are specifically related to Taurian so some of you Pisces could be dealing with the Taurian um this is a in this spread actually it's a really healing energy and um, the Knight of Pentacles um this person who's been with you or not has, has really gone through um healing and this as i said it could be a situation it could be a situation about healing 
that you've experienced and it's one that's taken that's taken i want to say two years it's been a real slow process so for those people that have been trying for children trying to bring children into their homes trying to bring children into their um lives um, it could have been a process that, that took two years um for you um and now that's something that's going to be rewarded for you it's a solid um it's one with <clears throat> what's coming into your life i mean if it's a child obviously that's a child so that you know what that is but what is coming into your life if it's um, a relationship or what you're going towards um is is uh something that you have put energy and effort into worked hard toward to get and not only worked hard to get it as in you know put the time in at the office for example but you've gone through the emotional and spiritual healing and done the spiritual and emotional work necessary for you to excuse me to be able to be successful in the next stage of your stage and phase of your of your life and your relationships etc okay so that's really positive or this person has who's coming to your into your life okay the hierophant is um number five uh it's um card related it's another major arcana card and it's related to the sign of the also the sign of Taurus. Um, so um the Hierophant, aka the the Pope, used to call the as in the Pope, the representative God's representative on earth, i.e. that's what I mean by the Pope, the actual Pope. Um that's what it used to be called the Hierophant card, the Pope. And I always I like to so, sometimes know the old meanings because it can help to it can help with the meanings today, um how we interpret them. Even though um all meanings are in interpretive and contemporaneous, which means of the time that they were produced. So, but I like this idea of, you know, being on this planet, being on this earthly plane and having a connection with the divine. That's what this card can represent. It also represents, you know, structures in society and, you know, things that are um, tiny, things that are... Um, Excuse me, tiny. Oh, here he is. He's distracting me. Come here, tiny, please, because you're distracting me. Um, it can also represent. Good boy. It can also represent. Love him. <laughs> it can also represent though, the structures in our society, within our society that we live by, and th the traditions in our society that we live by, and that can be oppressive, and that can feel oppressive at times. So maybe some of us have been oppressed by those structures. Maybe you have been oppressed by um, the, um, oh, excuse me, the, this person in your life, your partner. Um, or the person coming towards you has been oppressed and felt oppressed by the situation that they find themselves in. Now, if for those, I feel like I'm talking to people who have been trying for children, actually. If you've been trying for children, it could be frustrating with the, the process could have been frustrating. As I've said, it, it might not be a traditional um, man meets woman and they have, you know, sex and then the woman gets pregnant it might not be that type of um way of bringing a child into the world it could be through you know insemination or surrogacy or adoption if you're a same-sex couple or not even if you're not a same-sex couple you could adopt or whatever so do you know what i'm saying so that is what i mean by by um the struggle was real for you people for, for, for you guys trying to get that child and trying to bring a, a child into the world the, you know the structures could you could have found those oppressive your partner could have found those oppressive and um you could have found the situation oppressive um but now we can recognize that um there is there is movement and we know there is movement because we've got the world card and because we've got the knight of pentacles okay um then we've got the four here so this is this is a, a rest a card of rest you know we fours are all about our foundations sword energy are all, it, are all about our minds so this is why we talk about this card as being a card of meditation it's about understanding how we feel understanding how we feel now in this situation we've 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 gone through a real struggle um before before july you know how has that affected me how has that affected you pisces it's about you coming to terms with that reflecting on that reflecting on the impact of the experiences of the last um six months of the last two years that's that's what this card is about so pisces this could be as i said you or the other person that you're uh, or the um person that's coming towards you your partner or it could be a situation that you're in so it's a situation if it is that it's a situation really of healing isn't it of you going through healing and of you ref being reflective of the cycle that you have been in up until this point um 
I feel like I want to, I feel like the Hierophant's like speaking to me. I feel like the Hierophant's speaking. He wants to say something. What do you want to say, Hierophant? What do you want to say? Hierophant. You okay, tiny dog? This is what the Hierophant wants to say, evidently. The Hierophant wants to say something. The Hierophant wants to say something. Um, I've, you know, this is communication. This is um, a lot of communication, passionate communication. This is, um, it's like the Hierophant, for some of you, hasn't been there in your life. So there has been either, if, it's, if this represents a person for you, and you will know if it is, and it does, it's like there's been a separation. So it could be that, you know, you are with child, pregnant, and then you and, and the Taurus or whoever this person might, or the Hierophant separated and this person doesn't want anything to do with you, didn't want any anything to do with the, ch the child, didn't want anything to do with, you know, any of it. And, you know, they have this time soul searching, going through their healing and their wounding, realising that it's not you that they're mad at. It's not you that the that the pissed about it's it's themselves it's their experiences in their life that they've had that have damaged their self-esteem that have made them show up show up the way that they showed up in your relationship so if there has been he's not in the picture for some of you the hierophant isn't and the, there's um there's been a separation there's been no contact and there's going to be contact or um, that's one scenario or if it is an institution or a situation this this um this bottom row for you personally this could be the um the news you've been waiting for so this could be the the news you've been waiting for about the child coming into your life or you know a child being placed in your home if it's fostering or if it's a surrogacy finding the the the, the, the right person to to be to carry your child and um, if it's a sperm donor you've been looking for finding the right person the, the right sperm donor for example there's lots of different scenarios Honestly, you have to comment Pisces and let me know if this is resonant because sometimes I feel like I'm speaking to a very specific, distinct group of people. As I said, I am doing additional love readings in the middle of July. So if you've got any specific things that you want me, if this isn't hitting you and you want me to look at specific areas, then if you put that in the comments, I pro I will do that in your additional love reading um, for July, okay? So so it's interesting, isn't it, really? Um, it's, it's actually... It's a positive spread. It's a spread of healing. This this is a real spread of healing. It's a spread of um, realizations, and it's a spread of new beginnings and new starts. This is so far. So so that's really positive, actually. Right. Let's pull some outcome cards then for you, Pisces. Um, I don't know whether um. Uh, this this reading has been so straightforward for me so far so please continue to that way and what i mean by that is the messages have actually just been coming through really really clearly and really strongly um and i haven't had to sometimes that happens and i talk really fast and i apologies if i've been speaking fast and um yeah i get all confused but this for some reason the energy's been it's come through very clearly for you guys so i hope it does resonate and as i said let me know if it does or doesn't okay so um the hermit just fell out actually so i will put this i will keep this one actually this is a, a similar energy to the card that's above it um it's not but it is <laughs> it's this type this uh, the form of um swords the hermit is a major arcana energy though and um so it's about major arcana cards are like big changes and events and shifts big shifts in energy um when we have um when we have what are these cards called? Major Arcana energies. So with the Hermit, it could be that um, you or the person that you've been around or is, is around you, whatever, it ha have has some time out to really think about and consider and reflect upon themselves and their own behaviour. Or you did. And this is, a, as I said, this is why, well, this is why it's, such, it's such a healing um, spread this i think for you pisces actually that 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 things have actually moved quite slowly for you this year i think it's it, it must have felt for you actually that the progress is, is slow and you know things have been moving quite slowly in in all areas not just you know get try, you know not just in pregnancy or whatever but um but in all areas in in work you know it's like the, the mojo 
do you know what I mean? Like the mojo, the like the the vibe, the the strong sort of creativity and spark that Pisces has naturally. It's kind of like it's been like dulled a little bit for you um this year or the last couple of months, the last three months or something. Um you know, I feel like you are gaining gaining enlightenment spiritually, some of you. You know, Pisces is quite an uh, quite a spiritually enlightened sign anyway, um, which is lovely. But I feel like some of you are really becoming walk, as in like literally you are starting to see things so much more clearly, you know, starting to see your past actions and, and the and the and and the patterns that you that you went through in the past, you're starting to see yourself. You're starting to understand what that is, and and that's been quite a slow process for you actually, um, Pisces. But but it's one that's really healing, and I really want you to re to realize that the healing is the good stuff. You know, when we get to the healing part, that's the good stuff. I want to just pull. Um, I'm not. I'm going to stop in a minute just because. I wanted to keep it to 20. And none of my readings have been 20 minutes. And I've got my little clock and they, they, I keep saying, oh, stop in 20. I'm just going to pull. I think I feel like just one more. There we go. Thank you. I just wanted one more. I could feel it. One more wanted it to come out. And that's really nice. You know, that's the Ace of Cups, isn't it? Okay. That's the Ace of Cups, which is a new emotional beginning. And, and, and I really feel like that's what you need, Pisces. I really feel like... I really feel like you've been waiting for a boost, if you will, of, of energy, of, of vitality, like it's been lacking for you for, somehow, for some reason. You know what, it's like you, some of you would have been feeling like you're in a daze, really, like you're just going through the motions in your life and, you know, you're just sort of like, just, you know, just going through the motions and not really sort of being, you know, grounded and connected to what act, the actions that you're taking for some people. And it's like you sort of, in the month of July, you sort of wake up to that, and you know this is a love. This is a love reading, and it has affected. You know, it's your self esteem and it's your energy that's affecting your love life. This is your karma, and these are cycles that you need to overcome. And the beautiful thing is that that is exactly because you have been doing the work. It just it just feels like you have. You know, feels like you're not getting anywhere, but you have been putting the work in, and that does not go in notice, as I said, from the universe. And this is a gift when we have an ace. It's a gift. And it's a gift of a new emotional beginning Pisces for you. So I really, really hope that going, you know, that's just my heart chakra has just responded to that, um, which is really good, really beautiful. I, I, I was going to say, I really, really hope, wish you compassion, you know, and acceptance for yourself and for others this, this month, Pisces. I really, really hope and wish for you um, that you do feel, start feeling more energised and start feeling more like your old self. You know, this is it. This is your energy. Um, it's cups energy. It's water energy. It's your energy. And it really feels like you're going to be back to your best, back to your best self um, coming into July. Okay, so I really hope that was helpful for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for all your love and support so far on my channel. Um, remember to like, to subscribe, and please comment if I'm speaking to one person and not a lot of you, because as I said, I can address that in the additional reading coming up in the next couple of, couple of weeks. And your bi-weekly is coming up within the next seven days, okay? Thank you so much, Pisces. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. What time are you sleeping up?